Finally tonight, nothing turns a hot day into summer fun like a trip to the beach. Manny Bajorquez shows us how volunteers in Miami are making it more accessible. For Sergio Echeverria, this isn't just a day at the beach. Oh man, this is so good. What's it like? Nicknamed Aquaman, the ocean has always been his second home. But a tractor accident this winter left him a quadriplegic. Did you think you'd ever be able to get back in the water again? I have my doubts. I really did. But here you are. I did, and I'm, I've been proven wrong. <laughs> yeah. And I like that. Once a month, a small army of volunteers build out this stretch of Miami Beach. Plastic mats for the wheelchairs and special floating chairs, transporting folks for a joyful swim. It's amazing. You said it's not just the water, but it's the people around you, too. I have found out that in the water, I find my best family, my best friends. Sabrina Cohen is the woman behind these adaptive beach days. I'm crying of joy. So when you see people go into the water for the first time in years. We all cry. It's like tears of joy. It's, um, it's a gift to give to others. Cohen is among the 61 million U.S. adults living with a disability. A car accident left her a quadriplegic at 14. For a moment when you're in the water, you are like anybody else. Any mobility devices that you use just wash away for a moment. They wash away. You're floating. That's the great equalizer. It sure is. Dr. Susan Solman calls it a magical experience. Without this, just getting onto the beach, onto the water, you wouldn't be able to do it. No. Every time I go in the water, it, it becomes the greatest day of my life. It truly is. Sabrina Cohen is now working to install a permanent location on Miami Beach. To date, we have welcomed over 8,000 people from not only over South Florida, but from all over the world. 8,000 people. 8,000 people, correct. What does that feel like? It's like a small strand of miracles that just keep coming together. Each one with a smile that just washes over. Manuel Bojorquez, CBS News, Miami Beach.